Breaking FBI caught in major cover-up, it's all going public by Frank Spear for Christian News Alerts. Judicial Watch is a government watchdog group that often uses lawsuits to reveal, sorry about that, information to the public. Their latest investigation is going to flip FBI officials on their heads. The Department of Justice contacted Judicial Watch to inform them that the FBI located 30 pages of documents. These pages related to the meeting between former Attorney General Loretta Lynch and former President Bill Clinton on June 27, 2016. The materials are scheduled to be sent to Judicial Watch no later than November 30, 2017. The documents are being sent directly to Judicial Watch in response to a Freedom of Information Act FOIA lawsuit that was filed when the Justice Department disregarded their request on July 7, 2016. A number of details are bound to be exposed when information surrounding this meeting comes out. Many have wondered about the nature of the meeting and this instantly throws out the narrative that Lynch and Clinton gave for the event. According to the two of them, they met up to talk about golfing and grandkids. One can't help but wonder how golfing and grandkids produce 30 pages of documentation, unless that was just a cover story, you think? Once the information is released, all FD-302 forms under the FBI's investigation into Secretary of State Hillary Clinton's private email server will be too. Allegedly, the meeting between Lynch and Clinton involved details about these servers. If anyone in the FBI, the Office of the President, or the DNC have a communication log within these 30 pages, that information is included in the request. This information could help detail, uh, determine if Clinton and Lynch worked on establishing the grandkids and golf alibi before it went, even went public. <laughs> of course they did that. Finally, all records related to the meeting of Lynch and Clinton will be released to ju Judicial Watch. This information can further elaborate on motive and foresight. Initially, the FBI told Judicial Watch that there were no documents or records relevant to that tarmac meeting. However, in a similar case, the Justice Department found emails where officials within the department spoke with the FBI about the event. As a result of those findings, a letter was sent to Judicial Watch from the FBI reading. Upon further review, we subsequently determined potentially responsive documents may exist. As a result, your FOIA request has been reopened. Now, the true nature of this meeting is going to be, be exposed to the public. I still highly doubt that. There are some that have speculated that the meetings directly involved Hillary Clinton's private email server. Others have said that since this meeting happened right before the release of the Benghazi report, that this may have something to do with that incident where four Americans lost their lives. Tom Fitton from Judicial Watch has stated the FBI is out of control. It is stunning that the FBI found, quote, these Clinton Lynch tarmac records only after we caught the agency hiding them in another lawsuit? He continued, Judicial Watch will continue to press for answers about the FBI's document games in court. In the meantime, the FBI should stop the stonewall and release these new records immediately. Well, it, you know, I would say they're going to redact a lot of them, but again, you know, at least you get some information because without Judicial Watch, this wouldn't even be opening up these, uh, the, you see what I'm saying? So uh, good that they're on, on, uh, on the uh, ball there to open up these things because this should have been done by the government. But here you have Sessions dragging his feet saying, uh, you know, and then you have um, Gowdy saying, Oh, we already uh, did the uh, 
uh, the investigation for her Clinton e the Clinton emails. It was uh, already closed. I'm not looking to reopen it. What? Uh, you know, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.